Well, just an emotional day. You know, it's just uh, bittersweet is what I, I said to the seniors. And they're just, the you know, so solid. <clears throat> Three people that have given so much to our program. And sometimes senior day can really bite you. It's You're so emotional that you can really mess things up. But I really thought we handled the, the emotion of that. And, again, just proud that they can walk off this floor with another first time in a lot of, in a lot of years, sweeping the Oregons. Um, you know, just a special day and, and happy we were able to get this win. Coach, um, Ula talked a lot about what she's done here and how one of the things she's most proud of is kind of laying the groundwork for making this town, this team, a good basketball team, a good basketball town. Talk to talk about how she and the rest of the seniors have really been able to do that, the progression from her and you from your first years here to now, how that has changed the outlook of basketball here. Well, I said that when I, I talked to him before, um, Ula and, and Emma probably didn't understand U.S. American basketball, college basketball. So we were recruiting Ula at Northern Colorado. So you know, Big Sky versus Pac-12, um, uh, you know, and, and same with Emma, you know. And then there's Grace who knew exactly, uh, you know, the level of play that, that the Cougs were doing for a lot of years and still chose us. So, but all three chose us because of the the vision, I think, that we had for this program and that we wanted for them. Uh, we needed such solid people and, and high character and the work ethic, and just they were committed to us. They were committed to our vision, not anything that we could pr prove, not anything that we had done. Uh, and then they walked into a, a situation that was hard, like seven people left. They're the first kind of recruits that we get. And it was just a hard couple of years for them that they had to live through. Um, probably watched and saw, you know, some spotty leadership with upperclassmen, and they, they either – you know, they basically didn't buy into that and they started changing our culture and they had to take something that was kind of broken and and slowly, and it was slow, those first two years, slowly just kept showing up and kept um, being just such good people and such the work ethic and then such leaders and such voices that, you know, we just got enough of those in our program that really, you know, led us through some dark times and and these three deserve so much credit for what we've become and and uh but i love i love hearing their perspective because they they saw it when it was bad they lived it when it was hard and now they're getting some they're getting rewarded for what they've made this thing into and ula now with tonight is now eighth all-time in rebounds wsu history she's only a few away from seventh and also only three games away from the most played in Washington State history. So talk about her over the years as you've seen her grow, as you've seen her become a leader and a better player for this team, what you've seen from her specifically in her growth and what she is as a final product now. Well, again, just, um, you know, Ula is just, she is what she was raised. She's all about family. She's all about loyalty. She's, um, you know, her people she would just die for and, and um, is so committed to and so loyal to um, our program and our coaching staff and her teammates. And I think that just is so attractive to a coach. You know, you just never have to worry about her doing something she shouldn't be doing or leading someone in a, in a path that they shouldn't be going on. She's just devoted to what, what we've been about. And, you know, she's that she's kind of an X factor for us. Like if, if she scores, it's just such a bonus. She's always going to be on the court because of her – you know, her IQ and, and all the ways that she can help us win without scoring. Uh, she is a unique player, and I think she's someone that, that really worries opponents. You know, they have to plan for, they have to hope that, you know, all of a sudden they look at the, the, the stat sheet and she has 10 or 12 points. But um, she's just, it doesn't really matter. She's such a, you know, like a rock star on and off the court in the locker room. That um, And I'm not saying, like, these three seniors – we didn't have to have character issues. They weren't hard to coach. They are high energy people that show up every single day and 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 take care of everything that they're doing on a day to day basis. They're awesome human beings. Their parents should be so proud of them and 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 you know, the court 
was a challenge for everybody and trying to improve and try to play at this level. But these guys have grasped every challenge we've put in front of them. And, and now, again, they're standing toe-to-toe with some of the best players in the country. And on this game, uh, how would you like the team's response uh, late there when it you know started to get a little bit more com- – they cut it to, to five and then you seem to always have an answer? I don't know. I told them I hated them in the second and the fourth quarter, but uh, I loved them in the first and third. And uh, it was a little bit harsh. I just thought we really lost our, our focus in the second quarter when we had such a good push in the first – first quarter credit to obviously Oregon State they made some timely baskets and got us a little out of rhythm and but you're right like that is it's so key that when you're not playing your best and you're not the ball isn't going in the basket you've got a little bit of a lead the emotion of losing a lead is so huge especially a senior night especially the last time you're going to play on that court Uh, our response was great so another way that we won that isn't exactly ideal for us but that's what it's all about. It's just finding different people that can help and uh, figuring it out when when it gets not so pretty. What about your defense today? You know, made it so effective. It seemed like that you really were able to lean on it in those moments, and and you know those three straight Bella steals just kind of spurts like that with good defensive stops strung together. What what, what about it was so effective? Well, I thought they just started really isolating our their size, you know, and and just spread us so far and. You know, we were kind of trading baskets, and then they got a little bit more of a run. You know, I don't know that it really helped, but we did start picking up full court. And it was more just let's make them take six or seven or eight seconds off the shot clock. Maybe that takes them a little bit out of rhythm. We tried to put a little bit more pressure on them uh, so that they couldn't just pick us apart by staring at the 6'9 player that they could lob over. Um I thought, and and because of that, maybe we we just made some really good plays with pressure on the ball that made those passes, you know, a little bit harder for them to catch. You know, maybe offline a little bit. Bella got her hands on some. We got them in crowds a little a little bit. Uh, again, just fortunate. That's a hard team to match up with uh, for us because of their size, uh, and obviously they're shooting the three ability. So, you know, I, I thought it. You know. When we were up nine, it was just like at some point we have to make a basket. You know, we have to make some baskets. It's not so much that they're scoring. It's just that we got to follow this up with a few baskets. What's the biggest way in which you've seen Bella grow offensively over the last year or so? Well, I mean, there was a light bulb that went on when she in April of last year when there wasn't a time she could be in the gym without a coach and get better. And... There wasn't a time she could go in the weight room. She never asked to go in the weight room. And she wasn't ever any good when the, even when Zach was working with her. She would find shortcuts. And a light bulb went on where she was like, I, I can do this alone and do it of, of the quality. And then she started figuring out the weight room was helping her. And, and I think ever since then, her summer was amazing. Uh, again, we leave, you know, we're, she's home for six weeks and we don't see them. So you have to do workouts on your own. She did them. Her, her discipline and her um, commitment to doing what was required of her, just it, it's night and day. Now, that doesn't always correlate to all of a sudden your game is perfect because it's still not. And her decision making and some of the shots she takes and stuff is it's still questionable. But she's such a dynamic uh, explosive athletic player that we we have to live through some of those maybe bad decisions because she can produce 19 points and nine rebounds and and again she is someone that the other team has to complete and totally figure out how they're going to guard that so really just proud of her discipline and her work ethic and it's it's no longer I mean she would always do it well when the coach was there she just couldn't and sometimes it wasn't for lack of one. It was just like she wasn't sure exactly how to do it. And she got serious about her practice and her, um, the, again, discipline is a big word for her. And she just has been pretty pretty dang good since then. How have you seen the team's com- commitment to rebounding grow over the season? I think at one point they were la- Cougs were last, but since then um, improve. Have you, have you seen that improve? And what's been the focus of that improvement? Well, again, I just think this team is built a little bit better. We're a little bit longer. Uh, we have a little bit more depth. Um, and it, we've emphasized it a little bit more. Um, our defense is just at another level than it was a year ago. 
And I think the 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 rebounding in particular, especially the defensive glass. You know, we've we you know it's just we understand that's that's the end of the the possession. We have to finish that. And I I thought I thought they hurt us a little bit on some O boards, but uh, for the most part we've we've guarded so well and we've rebounded pretty well. And we keep saying it. That's what tough teams do, and that that helps you actually win when you go on the road what no matter what happens with the ball and going in the basket so those are areas that we can feel pretty good about ourselves and in, in growing and defensively and in, in, in the rebounding area i was saw on friday ula's family surprised her um was that a surprise to you too and what was that moment like right no i knew ula had some folks coming and um and uh not completely you know her mom wasn't able to come but uh ula has family everywhere we go <laughs> so she needs tickets every time we go somewhere but I'm just happy that someone was there you know I hate that Emma didn't have you know her mom they're coming for grad her mom and brother are coming for graduation so we'll be excited about that but um you know Grace and and Grace's parents have been her parents over here anyway so you know just a special group and and having their 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 people, you know, their people with them was was special and good. And then the end, we see the the karaoke and the scene and the dance. What 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 we, they spoke to that that definitely represents the team. But have you seen that spirit grow? And what was that like? What was that moment like? I have to listen to that song every time I walk into the locker room before a game. And again, the expectation is that I'm supposed to sing along with Shania, and it's not happening very often. But um. You know, a little bit of personality on our team, and um, you know they're so serious, and we're really focused on what we want to do. But God, they love each other, and they like hanging out with each other, and they like having fun, and you know, it's it's a good mix. And being a little bit loose before a game is is big. And I'm just I'm impressed that our people know that that's their song now. So. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's kind of funny because they still don't know all the words to it, and all they do is play it like you know six times a week. So, uh, but happy that that they got that in common, and believe me, they have a lot of fun together.